Hey guys, Murphy Gaming here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my first redstone video in Minecraft, so hopefully I have a lot of you guys out here that like redstone or something, because <clears throat> I'm going to be showing you how to make a working nine slot vending machine. Um, this vending machine, you can set the payment for whatever you want, such as whatever, you know, if you could put whatever you want in there. Um, like I in mine I have like, let's see, sandstone, just other blocks, dirt, cobblestone. So, you just point this arrow at the object you want. Let's say I wanted cobblestone. I would throw my payment into the hopper. Now my payment is only one gold ingot, so just wait a couple seconds, click up there, and you will have a block of cobblestone, but let's say I wanted some of the sandstone to think that is. Wait. And now we got sandstone, but maybe if I wanted some stone. And the uh, stone comes out. Alright, so... Alright. For this build, what you're going to need is nine droppers, one dispenser, one block of redstone, ten redstone torches, fourteen hoppers, uh, sixty-four blocks of your choice, maybe a little bit more. Um, reds, what was that? Um, eighteen redstone repeaters, a stack of redstone dust, four redstone comparators. Nine item frames, one arrow, a um, stack of your payment, whatever that might be, maybe be emeralds, iron, whatever. But you're going to need a stack of it, and you're going to need four non-stackable items, such as like a bed or pieces of armor, bows or something, you know. So, what you're going to need to do for this uh, thing is you're going to need um. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Um, all right, you're going to need some hoppers, and I also forgot to mention you're going to need a chest. Let me describe that. You're going to need to dig down three blocks, place down your chest, and you're going to need to crouch and place down two um, hoppers. Dig down two blocks, dig down two blocks again, and then dig down three. Bust out these two blocks, and these three, and then bust out that block. Now what we're going to need to do is place a piece of redstone there, one in this hole. Now right next to these, uh, one block up from the chest and to the left side of it, place one block of redstone right there in that little hole place a piece of redstone on that and then get out your comparator and you're going to want to place it going this way coming out of this uh, uh, hopper right here and you're going to want to place a comparator going right here and you're going to want to place any block directly over that and then like one right here a uh, piece of redstone dust right there. And you're also going to need your torches right here. You're going to place your torch right here. And your repeater going into this piece of redstone dust and it should uh, light up. Or it should activate it, I mean. Alright. Now to configure your payment, um, you're going to need your uh, stack of your <coughs> payment item in your four non-stackable items. Now on this bottom hopper right here, just place in, uh, let's say I wanted my payment to be one red, or uh, one ingot right here, or if you want to do redstone blocks or whatever. But if you want to be one ingot, you want to make that uh, stack 63, and then place in your beds. And if I put in 
this one right here, it should go back down 63 and you should see it like cycle. But if you wanted it to be, um, and let me grab just another stack real quick. This is very inconvenient. Um, if you wanted it to be, let's say, two items, you would move this uh, repeater from one ticks to two. So, now let's cycle through again. And it should go down to 62. Or if you want to make it three. Actually, you cannot make it three. Um, Just make it like one extra, so. All right. What I'm trying to say is, um, if it's a, uh, it's if you leave it at one tick, it's gonna be one of your payment items. If you move it to two ticks, it's gonna be two payment items. And these ones after don't really matter. So it's just one, it's just one tick and then two ticks. So it's like one item, two items. If you mess with this one right down here, it does not do a thing. So. If you, if you guys are wondering that. Alright, so now we're just going to close this up. I just remembered. We're going to fill that back up. And it should go back to 63. Okay. We're just going to cover that up. <clears throat> Alright, right here. This is where you're going to need your comparators. So, your comparators right here. You want to place a block right above this piece of redstone. And you're going to want to place a comparator going that way. Oh. Sorry, my controller is glitching out. Yeah, I need a new controller, but um, it should look something like this. And now you want to place three blocks like this, so it'll be like nine, which you, you can use any block you want, so if you want to do like oak, like, <clears throat> or something just, you cannot use transparent blocks like glowstone or anything like that because it just won't work. And you're going to want to place nine item frames. And then that'll be coming right out the back of this. Alright, now once you're over here, you want to place exactly eight oak planks going this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, now you want to get out your repeaters. And you want to put repeaters going along all these. And you want to put redstone dust right here. Put a block right above that, or right in front of that, I mean. And you want to crouch put down that and then just kind of fill it in. Make sure you do not touch the uh, uh, ticks on the repeaters. And you want to put a second level of redstone dust going along here. More repeaters on the back side. And directly above these repeaters, you want to do the same exact thing this time. Except for this time, you're going to be placing a layer of uh, your blocks directly over this redstone. So, just like that. Alright, now you want to get your torches. You want to place down your torches just like that. And you want to crouch and click on the front of these repeaters. And it should look exactly like that. Now you get out your droppers, not dispensers, so we're going to get out some droppers. Now that's where you need your eight droppers. You want to put them like this, right here. And you want to put a layer of redstone going this way. And now we're almost done with the build, so... 
on your left side of your uh, wall right here, you want to place one redstone torch. Bring your blocks around like this. And then red re on your redstone back, and it should um, activate the redstone dust. And just to warn you guys, um, I've seen people mess up on this before. I don't exactly know what they mess up on, but if these torches are deactivated or shut off, you know, whatever you want to call it. If they're turned off, you screwed up and you should probably just tear it down and start over from scratch again. Alright. And now what you need to do is, now that we have the whole build thing done here, <clears throat> you need to get out your items like if you wanted some sponges, um, pumpkins, torches just kind of get out any blocks this is an eight block machine and you're also going to need one arrow all right so what you're gonna need to do is place your arrow directly in here in the middle on this middle item frame it should spin around and now how you're gonna start this off is um you're gonna put like your birch planks here and your let's say I want to put lapis here so if you come around to the back right here this first one right here is going to be birch planks and the second one is going to be lapis and say if I put diamond blocks on the third one down the third one will be diamond blocks and then if I want to put emeralds as the fourth one I'd put emeralds in the fourth one so let me just fill this up really quick I don't really think you can use torches because it just kind of does that. All right, do not use torches. Wait. All right, let me just put some of this stuff. All right. All right, we're gonna put in a block of quartz. And some gravel mossy cobblestone and coal so we're going to come back to here all right grapple mossy stone things and coal all right <clears throat> now we've wasted enough time uh filling that up what we need to do is grab our one dispenser and our hoppers i forgot to mention this you want to place the, your thing sideways, it does not matter which way, if you put it left or right. Come around to your back. Crouch. Put two hoppers going out. One, one over. And then just keep bringing them back. Alright. Now all of your uh, hoppers right here should be facing this way, going into one another, not end of the droppers. Come over like this and then right into the side of that. So whatever you decide to do to like kind of decorate it, let's say we just did something like basic. So Let's so say you decided to do that, all right. All right, now since my payment is one gold ingot, it's time for the test. Um, if we face it towards this lapis block, you throw your one, um, what do you call it? Gold ingot <laughs> into your hopper and one lapis block should come out. But if you wanted your diamond block, you would just throw in your one gold ingot wait maybe five ten seconds depends how laggy your world is too um your uh, blocks come out if you wanted gravel gravel will come out and uh for the uh thing to load this thing like even though i just kind of showed you i'm just going to go over it one more time like this will be your first dropper right here your second one 
your third, sixth, seventh, and eighth. So Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let me just grab my items here. So now if you wanted to collect the money, let's say uh, for how many how long or whatever. Go down here and every thing that they throw in here will be in this bottom chest. And if you wanted to like protect this or something and you're uh in a survival world, you can just put obsidian, but either way they can just dig, they can just break these hoppers and go straight down, so it's not really worth that much, so I'm just going to tell you that. See, it's as simple as that. Um, if you guys like the video, um, comment, like, subscribe, such, you know. Um, if you're having any problems with this, uh, just, uh, comment down below and I'll try to help you out the best I can. Or if you're on PlayStation, I can probably even show you how. And... Uh, we're also starting up a, well, not really starting, I'm just kind of already going, but it's a Minecraft server on PlayStation 4. If you're interested in joining, comment down below and I'll, uh, write a comment back to you kind of explaining what's going on so you guys can join in and stuff. Uh, it's not yet 24-7, but we try to keep it on as much as we can. Like, I'll leave my PS4 on all night, all day kind of deal, but... My internet isn't always good and it crashes or it will free, my PlayStation freezes. So we try to keep it up as much as possible, but sometimes it just kind of crashes. But other than that, it's open most of the time. But I guess you kind of get the point. There's kind of limited things you can do. Um, But like I said, if you like the video... Uh, like, comment, subscribe, comment your problems with this if you have any. Um, my SpongeBob got griefed. Um, but thank God, little SpongeBob survived.